Hi everyone, uh, let's see if I can make it through this video. <laughs> I d already tried to record this like four times and the phone rang and everything else. So I want to do a quick video um, to show you how you can uh, add a plugin so that you can see your SVG files as a preview like you would your um, photos or your JPEGs. Uh, let me just show you an example. Like I have Windows Vista and in um, Windows. This is how I can see my JPEGs. This file here is a JPEG and I get these little previews so I can see what the file is. But when it comes to SVG files, uh, let me just open, here's a folder here of SVG files. When I open it, this is what I see. And I use Firefox um, instead of Internet Explorer. So I have all these little Firefox icons. If you use Internet Explorer, you might have the um, blue E for Explorer. But basically, I can't see what they are. So I have no idea, other than the file name, what one SVG is via another via another <laughs> versus another. So I'm going to show you a little tip um, to download a plugin that will allow you to see your SVG files in a preview like you would your JPEGs or photos, etc. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this website here and I will put a link to the um, website below that will bring you to this page right here. And what you want to pay attention to is the first two files, um, which is setup x64 version 11 signed exe. And this is for somebody who has a 64-bit system. And the next file is um, setup i36, i386 version 11 signed exe. And this is for somebody that has a 32-bit system. Now, if you don't know if you have a 64-bit system versus a 32-bit system, you all you want to do is you want to go down to the lower left-hand corner and you want to click the Windows icon, which is the Start button, and you want to go over here to your Control Panel and click that. Then you want to make sure you're in Classic View in the upper left-hand corner, and you want to find your System icon and you want to click that. So once I click that, it opens up this window here, and as you can see under the system heading, it says System Type 32-Bit Operating System. Now I have a slightly older computer, I custom built my computer, and I love it, so um, yeah, so mine's 32-bit system. The newer systems are usually 64-bit systems, but like I said, this is how you can tell if you're not sure which one you have. So you want to go to the website, and I have a 32-bit system, as you just saw. So I'm going to click the second link here for the that says I386 version 11, and I'm just going to click that, and it's going to open up here to a second link, and I'm going to click that to download the file. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. I already have it on my desktop, so I'm going to just skip that part, and I'm going to go back here out of my SVG folder. And here's the file right here. It's DSSEE setup i386 version 11. So I'm going to double click that and I'm going to hit run. And I have Windows Vista. Um, for a Mac, I don't know, um, you can probably Google uh, SVG plugin for Macs, but um, and I'm, this will work on. Let me just double check. Um, Well, I will put more information in the description box below. If I if I remember correctly, this works for XP Vista, uh, Windows 7, and Windows 8. So I'm going to just finish installing this here, and it's super quick. And then I'm finished. And then I'm going to go back to my SVG folder, and I'm going to click it. And there you go, voila. Now you can see all your SVGs um, in the preview window like like you would a JPEG image or a, any other graphic image. And this is so much easier when you're trying to find an image and you don't want to read all the names. You can just look at the pictures and you can see, okay, I want my gumball machine. Bingo, bango, there it is right there. And so I just wanted to do this video really quick to um, give you this little tip so that 
you know, you could install it yourself if you wanted to, and it would make finding SVGs so much easier. So thanks for watching. Oh, and again, just a little disclaimer. Um, I am not affiliated with this website at all, so, you know, download it at your own risk. You know, if your computer blows up, it's not my fault, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> As you can see, I downloaded it, and it's just fine. But um, just in case, you know, something happens, don't blame me. But it should be fine. Um, yeah, so download your plugin and enjoy. And thanks for watching this video, everyone. See you soon. Bye.